dear students sometimes we hear from our elders or we see in newspaper or in news channel accidents and the damages caused by the accidents accidents are undesirable things incidents that happen on the road and there is loss of life sometimes sometimes there are serious injuries and thus accidents are something which are not at all expected but still it happens can we avoid it the answer is yes we can avoid it if we follow safety rules and regulations of the road or at whatever public places we are there if we follow them we can avoid such accidents today we are going to learn few rules and few safety measures that we can take to protect ourselves to be at safe place so today we are going to start with the new chapter the chapter name is safety first this is third chapter in our textbook and today we will be dealing with introductory section of the lesson and the topic safety at home so let us begin so as i said we hear news about accident many times accident cause harm to our life and it causes pain and sufferings have you ever thought why do they happen can we avoid accidents the answer to these questions are yes we can avoid accidents how by following safety rules at home at school on the playground and most importantly on the road injuries at home are mostly caused by slipping on the floor burns electric shocks and chemical poisoning and there are few measures that we can take to avoid this accidents that happen at home thus we can avoid accidents or such incidents at home if we keep our home safe and always be alert now how can we avoid slipping on the floor to avoid such accidents or such incidents we can keep the floor clean and dry which is very important take care that bathroom and kitchen floors are not slippery why do they become slippery if water is there for a quite amount of time if it is there for a large amount of time or if there is a soapy water if there is some drop of soaps on the floor then that floor becomes slippery also if we don't wash our bathrooms or kitchen regularly then also they can become slippery do not leave your toys and other things lying on the floor because these toys which have uh, these uh, wheels to it if a person is unknown to these toys and if he places his foot on the toys he might get slipped and he might get injury so we should avoid keeping our toys somewhere on the floor we should keep them at proper place use a step ladder or a stool to reach something placed high so if we want something which is at high place then you have to use a step ladder or stool to take it then there are burns that can happen because of shocks or fire how can we avoid that accidents due to fire in the kitchen can cause serious injury to avoid such accidents one must not wear synthetic clothes we must wear cotton clothes especially when we are in the kitchen why because the synthetic clothes catch fire very easily gas stoves when not in use must be turned off we should be very cautious when we are in kitchen if we have placed something on the stove for example maybe to heat the milk to boil the milk or to boil something else but we have to be cautious when we are in the kitchen 
if it boils then if cooking is over then you have to switch it off if you turn it off then we don't have to worry about it then they must be checked regularly to avoid leakage especially near the knobs of the cylinder we have to check the knob uh, if there is leakage or not so it should be checked regularly to avoid such mishaps or such accidents students electric appliances are very helpful and beneficial in our day to day life but if we get too close to this electrical appliances they can be dangerous they can prove hazardous so we have to avoid getting too close to this electrical appliances especially fans electric heaters these are very dangerous instruments if we try to get too close to them especially when they are in on position so as i said electrical appliances make our work easy but they should be handled carefully we should not touch electrical fittings with wet hands because we might get shock why because wet hands they have water molecules and these water molecules since our water is not perfectly distilled water and this normal potable water is good conductor of electricity because there are certain impurities in this water and if our hands are wet with such water then current can pass through that water also and we might get electric shock so we should avoid touching electrical fittings with wet hands we should not go too close to instruments like table fans or heaters because if we touch it certain part of these electrical appliances are made out of metal and metals are good conductors of electricity so electric current can pass through that metal into your body and our body is also good conductor of electricity so we should avoid getting too close to these instruments if someone gets an electric shock or if you see a spark in the main switch you must immediately turn it off why because turning off the main switch will turn off the current and you can save a person let us see next topic poisoning so let us start with the topic poisoning poisoning happens many times because of some harmful chemicals or due to strong medicines so accidental consumption of chemicals and medicine can cause poisoning poisoning chemicals should be properly labeled and kept away from eatables eatables means food so we should keep these harmful chemicals away from our food do not take medicine without asking an adult so without prescription from doctors or without consultation from elders we should not take any medicine whatever may be the case so that was today's lesson for you we studied how to stay safe at home and now that we know these things there are few things that you can try out at home so try to answer these questions fill in the blanks we should stay away from dash and dash to avoid electric shock you have to answer this question second we can avoid accidents if we follow dash at home at school and on the playground or on the road then next question is what precautions should we take to avoid accidental consumption of poisonous chemicals and last but not the least how can we avoid accidents due to fire in the kitchen so these are the questions that you have to try out at home i hope you understood today's topic and i also hope you enjoyed it so see you in next session until then take care bye bye <laughs>